Well, hello everyone. We are Pandora Bots. Thank you for choosing us and warm welcome to your third tutorial in chatbot development with Pandora Bots API. In this video, we are going to learn different API methods to call and perform different crude operations. So I have created a demo PDF so that you could get a better understanding of the uh, API calls. So as crude stands for create, retrieve, update and delete. Uh, we are going to learn one by one so for the first one uh, the create operation so the create operation is for creating a new bot instance in your account so the syntax is something like your host name slash bot slash your app id your new bot name and the user key note that api calls have different api call operation types so now we are going to create a new instance on our account so the operation type would be of put to uh, let's let's learn it with the example I'm going to create a new bot named Sansa uh, in my account and I'm going to copy the link to make API calls I'm going to use postman as a software this is a free software and if you are familiar with postman then it's well and good if you are not i'm going to keep a link in the description so that uh, you can pause the video download the software and uh, so that we can uh, you, we can be on the same page now the postman interface looks something like this uh, the operation type is going to be of put and i'm going to paste my url here your host name is going to be api.pandorabots.com your app id and the user key and your bot name so make sure you have the correct syntax and you can go ahead send it replied with status ok and status 200 ok to actually check whether we have created our instance we have to retrieve that data that is get that data to get uh, different bot and the list of bots that we have on our, on our account then we are going to use a get type of operation and the syntax is something like this so the host name slash bot slash your app id and the user key well there's a good point to note about this is that your browser's default uh, api method uh, api type is going to be of get um, you know type so if we copy this and head back to our browser and let's make this api call then it would generate a reply for you most of the times people come to us and they email us uh, regarding that their api calls do not work through their browser uh, just because the browser's default type is through get uh, however if you are trying to create a new instance of a bot or something like that then it would be of put your browser will not support that now i'm good i'm using json viewer so that it would display it neat and nice to get list of uh, bots uh, bot files to be precise then we are going to use a different uh, get operation so it would be of uh, you know host name followed by bot followed by your app id your bot name and the user key now that in all the API operations, we are using the combination of app ID and the user key. So these two are very secret keys and should not be revealed. So if anyone by mistakenly uh, given up, given their uh, API, API keys, then it's really um, you know dangerous because anyone can create your uh, create a bot or upload a files to a bot. To demonstrate how the gate files work uh, let's head back to again the browser because our browser's default type is get and the response is generated like this so we have a main file called udc.aml uh, which stores our default reply uh, like i have no answer for that as you have noticed and by default there are few substitution files that are generated when you, whenever you create your account and there are properties there is a property file i'm going to create uh, you know close these two tabs and let's head back to our pdf 
Now the update operation. So to upload a file to a bot, well, uh, I'm going to upload it through Postman. So there's, uh, there are important steps that you should note down. Uh, again, the operation type is going to be of put and the syntax is something like your host name followed by bot followed by your app id bot name your file type your file name and the user key so the important thing is to note about the file type so the file type for example if you are trying to upload uh, suppose test.aiml then anything of .aiml extension then we will put file type as file uh, if you're trying to upload the files with set map and or substitution then you would specify it over here so what we'll do we are trying to uh, create a new file say test.aml uh, to our john bot and this is the example to run this i'm again going to use the postman for that uh, it's again of the put uh, operation and i'm going to is my url here now to put the test.aiml content now this is my test file this is how it's going to look it's the random categories that i have stored for the demonstration purpose what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this content and to the postman uh, when we make api call we want to post our data uh, you know put our data through the call so we'll hit to body in the raw and we are going to paste our data here okay is enough and we will hit send button as you can see the status is 200 okay and uh, to actually see like whether we have up updated uh, the uh, the the bots file let's actually get the john's file and it should you know uh, Re reflect the changes there so we will head back to uh, the browser and as you can see under the files there is test.aml okay now the important operation delete well there are two delete operations here first one to delete the bots files and actually deleting the bot for the second time so the delete bot file works with the delete type of operation and the syntax is as shown your host name app id your bot name your bot type and uh, sorry file type and your file name and the user key so to perform i'm going to delete the test.aml and let's actually head to postman i'm going to change the type as delete and let's paste our url here and let's hit send it replied with 200 okay and let's quickly check whether it uh, shows in the get get type of operation we can just refresh it over here so um, this didn't show up which means we have successfully deleted our file and if we want to delete our bot uh, remember we have created a, a sansa bot at the first place and suppose we want to delete a bot then we would use slash bot slash app id your bot name and the user key to demonstrate again this let's head back to postman i'm going to keep it as delete and let's change the url and let's hit send so it replied with 200 okay so these are basic uh, crude operations uh, if you want this pdf i'm going to put a link in the description so that you could refer them anytime also just a quick uh, noting that you can uh, work on this uh, these API methods here. Uh, again, there are two important methods called talk and etalk. These are the important ones. So I'm going to uh, cut this video and I'm going to make a separate video for that. So this is going to be uh, a good one. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, keep liking, keep commenting, 